tabs, come on, like, uh, who is going to produce thousands in Subotica? So my name is Katarina, uh, I'm an electrical engineer by background, and I am probably in the first four persons in 11Es. I joined back in late 2020. My name is Daria Arbuzova and um, I'm first international in 11Es. I joined the company in November last year um, and uh, at the moment I am responsible for raw material procurement and uh, another development, you know, you are working in startup, you should be ready to do everything. <laughs> well, my name is George. I'm cell assembly researcher here at 11 uh, I was the first who like came here and uh, and uh, worked from the office, so I was the only one in the office. Well, hello everyone. My name is Peter. Uh, I'm an electrochemical engineer by background, and at, le at, le le <laughs> <laughs> at 11 uh, my function, my position is cell researcher, which is basically the part of the R&D team. I was basically in Munich. Uh, working a bit in, in the battery industry already and writing my master thesis in this field on the degradation of lithium-ion batteries. And my dad called. And at that time I, I was thinking, wow, I will never go back to my country because uh, who will do batteries in, in Serbia and, and generally um, Balkan region? Renewables are just starting and people are developing uh, like solar and wind plants, but no batteries, no storage at all. And then my dad calls me and he's like, hey, there are these guys, uh, they're called Alpha Group, they want to make, they want to produce batteries in, like, battery cells in Serbia. And I'm like, dad, come on, like, uh, who is going to produce cells in, in Subotica? And I, I visited the factory. I came here in December 2020 and I've, I've seen the entire production and uh, the, the synergy of aluminum processing with electro manufacturing and I was really amazed and uh, that last uh, eight years I was working in renewable energy and metal trading um, and my last position was in Dubai in PPA development project mostly in Africa and I realized that demand of battery is like huge uh, and for me it was something new because I was working with solar panels and everything and I can say that before 2018, nobody talked about storage. So I started to read in LinkedIn, some industry magazines and stuff like that. And then I found this company, 11 East, they published some project management position. Even it was, I think, R&D, uh, R&D lead or something. And I'm a lawyer, right? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, let me apply. Last summer, I was looking for maybe a part-time job and I found, uh, oh well, washing dishes. And I was satisfied with it, but my parents were like, uh, why are you going to university, to faculty? You need to find a job in your like sphere. And I was like, okay, you'll see. And then all of a sudden, uh, I heard about the 11Es from my mentor. And she was actually telling me that there is a, like a big thing going on. And I couldn't believe because what I planned for myself as an electrochemical engineer in Serbia in order to work in that industry, I mean that branch, is to actually go abroad. And when I found out that there's something going on with batteries in Serbia, I needed to check it out, so I did. And as, as uh, Daria said, uh, the questionnaire they sent me was long and I needed a few hours to, to complete it. But when I did, everything, you know, went well. One thing led to another, and here I am in Subotica. Uh, at that point, it's very hard that you see uh, how from, from nothing, from one small office, someone wants to build an entire gigafactory. But let's say Nemanja uh, really like, translated this, his vision uh, into a couple of first like, people that joined. And at that point I said, yeah, you know what, I'm in. Uh, so basically I left uh, everything in Munich and, and came here. And that's, that's the story how I, how I got here. <laughs> and my dad couldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> it was just the, the four of us. So uh, uh, 
we had like a little bit more uh, team atmosphere because it was just the four of us, so you can have a little bit more of uh, jokes and banters and stuff like that. Do you remember your first day or first week moving yes, here to 11 I, I do. <laughs> I do. So I landed at Saturday afternoon and by uh, 7 p.m. Nemanja, who is the CEO, uh, he called me and he said, oh, be ready by it, in one hour we have a party. And I was like, I just landed. I don't know anything here. And then we went out to the bar. <laughs> And uh, one guy <laughs> was telling the story uh, that he can carry a goat on the top of the mountain. I was very confused, <laughs> like, why we are talking about goats and mountains? Like, what should I expect? And I haven't seen anything in town, like, basically from the airport to my apartment. But then I realized that it's the thing <laughs> to scare you <laughs> from the beginning. And if you pass it, you are one of, <laughs> one of us. What do you like about being here at 11S? To be honest, uh, it's like an, a whole different world to me, this uh, battery industry. So what I like here is that I'm actually being a part of something that actually is going to maybe, hopefully, it's going to you know, be written down in history as the first LFP Gigafactory in Europe. Uh, plus uh, the, the amount of knowledge, uh, meeting exciting people like you. Yeah, that, that's all part of it. And that's, that's the beauty of this job. Uh, first, it was more a deep dive into materials, chemical, how everything fun functions. And now we're like more into uh, design, more into how, how everything uh, should be tested, what tests should we do and everything. Uh, so it, it's completely different. It's two different worlds, but now when you reflect back on uh, what you know and what you have done, it's so different. You sometimes wonder why, <laughs> why did we lose time on this? Why did we do that? Uh, but it's all par part of the process. So uh, you need to uh, learn, sometimes fail at something, and now uh, you can do things more easily. And also you can uh, educate new people, like why should they do this? Why they shouldn't do this? Like they all already have some star starting uh, knowledge, so mm -hmm. uh, they're not on the, that um, beginning point where, where we were. So uh, now it's it's much easier, but there is like a lot of uh, uh, big things that awaits us uh, when we when we do the scale up. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. Great. Four of us sitting in this super tiny office, uh, having basically nothing but vision uh, and starting LFP in, in Europe when, when nobody was even targeting this at all. Uh, and believing in this, and now almost two years later, we see this as, as, a, as a successful path already. To the rest of the world who are curious, why a gigafactory in Serbia? Uh, I think Serbia has very serious potential uh, to build a supply, battery supply chain uh, locally. Mm, because, I mean, if you are following the news, a lot of development is going on in the region. I, I've seen that a couple of days ago, uh, one automotive uh, a launch, the development office in Belgrade. We have many companies, uh, batteries, battery component producers around, like in Hungary. Uh, in uh, we have lithium deposit, which is may might be developed at one point. Uh, we have source of uh, renewable energy. So I think there is very high probability to build it locally. Mm, that's why I think. Great can be can be a competitor for uh, Western European countries. Depending on the part of the world you're in, you will hear different stories about Serbia. Uh, either it's uh, still war going on here, or we are barbarians, or maybe we are, uh, you know, welcoming people and we have a great food, nightlife, uh, great people as well. Yeah. Uh, so somewhere in the middle of that you can see actually both sides of course which are present in the whole world 
but I think that actually, if you are a positive uh, person, you will actually enjoy all the positive stuff and you will not even be bothered by, okay, yes, there is every aspect of life there is here as well. We are normal people and just actually executing something so big, like a gigafactory in Serbia, in Europe, that's a big step and that shows the actually how serious and commitment, uh, how committed we are to the goal. So I would say uh, one of the things that really puts us in, in front is the industrial background that we come from. There is uh, a lot of good research, a lot of good labs going on in, in Europe. Um, but when it comes to scale up, this is a whole other level of, of problems. And uh, putting into commission actual factory uh, is another level of problems, another level of, of thinking. And it's not now it's not about science, it's about uh, production, it's about the industry, and it's about we have to do it and we, we have to do it on a, on a giga scale. Um, so I would say having all this experience uh, from Alpac dealing with coating machine for, for 20 years already and, and having this um, vision and knowledge how to work on debugging of machinery and putting everything into produ production with lowest scrap uh, is, is giving us some advantage. 11S is, is growing and is going to be scaling up. Um, there's a lot of space to grow and the team is also going to grow. So why, why, why should someone join your team at 11S? Uh, well, the, the fir first thing that I like here, the atmosphere is good. Uh, we have a lot of young people, so uh, we have some, uh, let, let's say, understanding. We have some fast dynamics. Everybody uh, belie believes in this project and, uh, and uh, everybody is ambitious. So uh, you will have an atmosphere that is friendly, but also an uh, atmosphere that drives you to perform as best as you can and to push forward. So uh, that, is, that is something I would recommend. Also, this project is uh, crazy, so uh, if you want to, to have a chance to do something that really, really matters, uh, then, then you should come and join. What's the favorite part of your day here? My favorite part of the day is uh, actually uh, every day we have uh, 10 minutes with my colleague Daria where we, where we joke uh, with our uh, colleague from China, Jing Xiang. We have every, like, every day, no matter how stressful the day is or tasks that we need to do, we have 10 days where we are like, really bonding. Mm -hmm. What's something interesting about batteries that most people don't know about? Uh, I, I will need a minute to think about something <laughs> interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the, the kids do not dissolve lithium in water. Cool, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the best and worst part of Nemanja? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. uh, uh, so the best part is that uh, he is engineer, so he has chemical knowledge, he is chemical engineer. So uh, he can help us a lot. He also have knowledge from from Alpac's production and everything. So whenever we have something that we are not sure how it's done or what should we do, we consult with him and he can help us a lot. Uh, the disadvantage is uh, he sometimes <laughs> uh, needs to uh, to, 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 to like uh, 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 forget to be like a robot because he likes to work a lot. So uh, he needs to be human a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I just need to record the responses of everyone. I think we all have like answers. Yeah. <laughs>